In today's episode, we're taking a look at the recent spate of cyber attacks that have been hitting the UK and US retail sector. And specifically, they're targeting service desks. So in this episode, we're going to take a look at Spec Ops Secure Service Desk and really ask the question, what is it? And most importantly, what it can do for you. Check it out. Andy here, so nice to see you, and I do appreciate you dropping by. With the recent spate of service attacks hitting the UK and US retail sectors, notably attacks on the Co-op Group, Marks and Spencers, and also the Harrods Group in London, we've started to see a new trend that hackers are really targeting service desks. So when that user calls in, we need a way of ensuring that that person is who they say they are. So, you know, gone are the days when you can answer simple questions like, what is your mother's maiden name? What school did you go to? And things like that, because all of that can be accomplished through, you know, very simple social engineering. So what we need is we need a tool that will not only verify who they are, who they say they are, but we need a mechanism that will prevent a, an administrator from actually helping the user until that verification process process happens. And this is where the Spec Ops Service Desk solution comes in. So in today's episode, I'm going to take you through a complete demo, how it works, and most importantly, what it can do for you and how it could potentially save your business a lot of money. Now, um, if you've got questions or comments, get those down below. We would love that feedback. And if you enjoy the session, give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. You're always welcome. Okay, so I think without any further ado, let's jump in and take a look at Spec Ops Secure Service Desk. So let's take a look at Spec Ops Secure Service Desk then. So typically when a caller calls in, we need to be able to verify that it is the genuine caller and not some hacker pretending to be that person. So the first thing that you'll notice to see with the service desk is I can't reset the user's password. I can't unlock the user's computer. I can't do anything. Why? Because the user has not been verified. And you can see here that we have a number of different verification options that we can have the user sign in by. So once we've done that, I'm going to flip over here and you can do basic simple things like, for example, send a one-time passcode challenge response. So you can manage those identification mechanisms, the authentication mechanisms. You've also got something called Spec Ops ID, which I'll show you in a moment. And of course, you can also send it to a personal email address. So we have lots of different options and whether your users are on premises in Active Directory, whether they're in Entra ID or indeed they might be in a hybrid type scenario, this is going to work with all of those solutions. It really is awesome. So what we'll do now is let's take a look then at sending a te quick text message then. And we're going to send a text push message to our user. Now, one of the first things that you'll notice here that the, the mobile phone number doesn't appear. So if I go ahead and create a challenge here, it sends that challenge out to the user challenge comes back and of course the user has to accept that challenge. Now of course if the user puts in the wrong number so just typing in 9999 of course if that's wrong the user will then get locked out of their account and of course we can then take further action but of course if the user puts in the right number of course so the correct challenge of course the user will then get accepted so we can see that now the user has been verified so now I've got access to the user's account I can manage the reset password option I can reset the user's computer and so on so as well as text and email one-time passcodes. Of course, you can also send one-time passcodes to the Authenticator app as well. And of course, it supports a number of different Authenticator apps. So you can go with the Microsoft, the Google, and of course, you can also go with the Spec Ops Authenticator, which I'll cover in a moment. But again, the uh, scenario is exactly the same. You send the challenge, and of course, then the user essentially responds by returning that code. And once it's done so, then of course, the user 
then successfully gets logged in. As well as that, of course, you might want to choose a more advanced notification. And one of the options that we have is the Spec Ops Authenticator. So this combines um, kind of phishing resistant credentials because it's not just something that you have, but it also compares the actual facial recognition and this uses of course liveness detection so that push notification is then forwarded to the user's mobile device but in this case we're combining it with that challenge response so the user is then authenticated it does a facial recognition on that user just to confirm that it is indeed the correct user there and once we're happy of course the user will then get access and also the admin uh, again Again, everything opens up for the admin to help that user so just in case there is a problem let me just show you that again this is the spec ops ID a push notification via the app I gotta say I absolutely love this feature so at this point it's worth just mentioning that secure service desk is really designed for entra only environments because of course it's just an enterprise app that you can install from entra ID tenant however if you've got an on-premises active directory or you're in a hybrid scenario then you might want to take a look at spec ops cloud as well as their gatekeeper service uh, that reads the configuration directly from uh, active directory okay so the big question is how do i go ahead and install this well it's just an enterprise app that you bring in from entra id and you can see that this particular tenant is just connected to my demo entra id tenant here you can specify the azure instance so where in azure um, for example is it global is it local is is it in China or somewhere like that? We've also got the tenant ID, the application ID, and of course, the secret that you set up there. Now, in terms of roles, of course, you've got the global kind of admin role. You've got the user admin role there that just does the help desk type service desk type stuff. Then you've got the user verifier role. So this user is kind of limited. They can only verify users. So they can't reset users' passwords. They can't reset computers, BitLocker and uh, and so on. And then, of course, we also have the reporting uh, user as well. So this is particularly useful for, you know, things like auditing and so on. I, again, that's always useful. So as I said, you've got the admin role. Now, in terms of the scopes of users as well, you can search for a specific scope or a group of users or admin units, of course, in Enter ID. Again, you can also have that that little checkbox allow admin managers outside of the selected scope but in this case uh, I'm not doing that so the next thing we want to ask is, Andy, can I customize all of this? And of course the answer is absolutely. So we've just done a little demo here where we've customized it with, for example, the native Spec Ops product. But as you can see, you can easily customize. You can put in your own logo. You can put in your own banner icon. And of course you can change the color scheme to meet your uh, requirements. And again, you can also set up those uh, choice enrollment options options there as well so the whole thing can ultimately uh, be uh, totally customized to your requirements there as well of course one of the nice things about this particular product is that it really does kind of give you the choice whether you've you're in enter id as in cloud native whether you're in hybrid so best of both worlds or whether you're in active directory so you really do have that kind of choice there now as well as the customization the next thing you might want to ask is and is there a custom API application programming interface of course particularly useful for developers so if you've got a situation where you're already using tools like ServiceNow or some other ITSM system such as Remedy TopDesk and so on rather than having a separate sheet tab and having to log into Spec Ops what you might want to consider is the fact that you can fully integrate it using these sets of APIs so everything just appears in one single portal so again Again, you can do all that verification in ServiceNow, in Remedy, whatever ITSM solution that you're using. So I love that, the fact that it's like super flexible. So there you have it, Spec Ops Secure Service Desk. Isn't that great? I got to take my hat off to these guys. What an awesome solution. I just love the fact that an agent can't help somebody until they've been verified as well.
So, hey, listen, if you've enjoyed the episode, get any questions or comments down below. We really do enjoy those. And if you've got um, uh, any suggestions for any future topics, of course, we love those as well. Give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much.